long time since I've made a video, but I am back and today I'm going to be making piping bag slime. So basically what you do is you make a bunch of different types of slime and put them into piping bags and pipe them out pretty much. So I'm going to be making a couple different slimes. Today I will leave all the different recipes in the description box so you guys can check those out if you want to. So let's get started. Just so you guys know, these are piping bags where you basically pipe them out. You cut off the tip and you pipe them out and it makes cool little designs and things like that. So the first slime we're going to be making today is a butter slime. So the ingredients I have today are white glue, some clay, some lotion and some baby oil and obviously some activator and coloring is optional but I do prefer to color my slimes. So you guys already know the drill so let's get started. I don't want to make them too big or else I don't know how well they're going to fit in the piping bag. I am not a baker of any sort and I have no experience with baking so I have no idea how this is going to work but Let's keep trying. So I'm going to make my butter slime blue because blue is one of my favorite colors. I'm going to take my spatula and mix the coloring and the glue together. Alright, and now add in the other ingredients that I mentioned before. Again, if you want the recipe, you can check it out in the description box. So enjoy the video of me making butter slime. Alright guys, so my slime is slowly starting to form one little clump, so I'm going to go ahead and get in there with my hands. Again, I don't know if I mentioned, but you can use any activator that you want. Whatever works for you is perfect. I am going to use borax and water because that is what I have on hand right now. So go ahead and basically clean out your bowl, get all of that excess on the sides. Also, while I'm in the middle of making all these slimes, let me know in the comments what your favorite type of slime is. Mine is probably soft serve slime. I've made it many times before. Just the texture just really makes me satisfied. So now that we have our plain slime here, we're going to set the bowl aside. We're going to go ahead and grab our clay. You can use any clay you want. I'm pretty sure this would be air dry clay. But you do want to make sure that your clay is soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my clay and get a little bit of lotion. And just put it on there. And kind of knead that in until it's a soft, stretchy texture. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, my clay is now soft and stretchy, which is the perfect consistency to make your butter slime. So go ahead and grab the slime you just made, and put your clay there, and give those two a little mix.
right, so I'm going to continue kneading this and I will be right back. All right, guys, our soft and stretchy butter slime is complete. Now it's time to put it into the piping bag. So what I have is a cup. Any cup will do as long as it's long enough to hold the piping bag. We're just going to... There's a little bit of clay on the piping bag. So you're just going to go ahead and open it. And basically slide the piping bag in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little bit of activator in there, like the tiniest little bit, like a little bloop, and kind of rub it around just to make sure our slime does not stick to the piping bag. So now go ahead and grab your slime and plop it in there. I'm putting little bits at a time just to see if maybe we can get it all to fit. I think we can. Perfect. So here's what it looks like in my little banana strawberry cup. Go ahead and take it out. And here it is in the piping bag. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an elastic. We're going to get a blue one to match our blue slime. I'm just going to put a push a little. Okay. And we're going to twist the top just like this and then tie it with our elastic. I'm going to make it as tight as I possibly can just to make sure that it doesn't come out through the top. Struggling a little bit. There we go. So here we have our first slime and the piping bag. Now let's move on to slime number two. Alright guys, I am back and slime number two, we're going to make some glossy slime. Now this has to be one of my personal favorite slimes. I don't know why, it's just so stretchy and shiny and I just love it so, so much. So we're again going to take some white glue. Perfect. We're going to use the same amount as the butter slime because we know that fits perfectly into our piping bag. And we are going to make our glossy slime yellow because one in a minion is yellow and I love the color yellow. I'm going to put a lot in there, like a lot, a lot of food coloring. And again, go ahead and stir together. You guys already know the drill. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the process for you. Okie dokie, I am back and here is my glossy slime. Look at that gloss. And it is stretchy and it is just so, oh my goodness. Okay. Now again, we're going to put it into our piping bag so that we can pipe it out later. Okay hey guys, we're going to struggle again to put the piping bag onto the cup. Since this one has a lot of baby oil and lotion, I don't think it'll be a problem that it will stick. So we're going to go ahead and just plop this in there. Perfect. And we're going to get a yellow elastic. Twisty, twisty, and go ahead and tie up our piping bag. And 
There we go, slime number two. We have a couple more to go, and then we'll be ready to start piping them out. Alright guys, recipe number three. Again, if you want the recipes, they are in the description box. We're going to be taking some, oh, some clear glue. I'm using the same bowl because why not? Go ahead and get some clear glue in your bowl. And guess what to add next? We're going to go ahead and add some glitter. For those of you that know me, you know that I am addicted to glitter. I have so many different kinds of glitters and shimmers. So go crazy on your glitter. I'm adding in some really, really sparkly blue glitter. And then some white glitter. I know this is a lot of glitter, but I love glitter. So go ahead and stir this together. And activate. And I'll be back when it's ready to be put in the piping bag. Whoop! Our glitter slime is done. It is super thick and super duper glittery. I love it so, so, so much. It is foggy even though I use clear glue because the bubbles get in there when you mix in the activator. So now we're going to go ahead and add it into our piping bag. So go ahead and grab your elastic. I'm using a pink one. And you guys already know the drill by now. We're gonna twist and tie it up. Okay, I successfully got it into the piping bag. Look at that glitter. I think we have the baby oil here, but we're gonna ignore that. And now that we have three of them done, we have one more slime left to make, which is soft serve slime. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my clear glue. Perfect. And then my baby oil. My lotion. My shaving cream. You can use shaving cream or gel. Actually, I did make a mistake. There's one more slime to make after this one. My apologies. And then get some cornstarch now. We're gonna use a lot of cornstarch to make it nice and thick. And for this one, we're going to make it green. Oh, the dye's coming out a little funny, but that's okay. <laughs> and then give it a stir. All right guys, our fourth slime is fully activated. And now time to add it into the piping bag. gonna grab our strawberry and banana cup again. Oops. 
get our baby oil. Oops. And our soft serve slime. Oh my gosh, look how amazing that texture is. Ooh. We're gonna get a green elastic because our slime is green. Oh, I almost dropped it off the table. That would not have been fun. Go ahead and tie it up. And set it aside. Now for our last and final slime, we're going to be making a very original slime, which is fluffy slime. So for my filthy slime, we're gonna take some white glue. Okay. And we're gonna mix all three of the colors. Our blue, our yellow, and then our green. I know it is gonna make green, but let's see if we can make a different color different shade of green. We're gonna take our green spatula and stir the color in together. Okay. And add in your shaving gel or shaving foam, whatever floats your boat. And add in a whole lot of it. And then start stirring it in. It looks like a glue, glue, a little green fluffy cloud. Whoa, oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and activate it that we can start piping our slime bags. Oh my gosh, look how fluffy our fluffy slime turned out. It's literally a cloud and I love it so, so much. Fluffy slime is definitely top of the list in my favorites. It's always gonna have a special place in my heart. And last but not least, we're going to add it into our piping bag. Yet again, we're going to put some baby oil in there so that our fluffy little cloud doesn't stick to the sides. Oh. I think my slime is a little gassy. But that's okay, we still love it. Now I don't want it to overflow, so I am gonna take a little bit out. We're gonna take our gassy cloud slime out and Yet again. We will tie it up. Okay. 
There's a whole lot of air at the bottom, so I'm gonna see what I can do. Tie it up either way. All right, guys, so now for the moment we have all been waiting for, we're gonna cut these bad boys open and make some cool designs. All right, guys, so I'm gonna grab my hand dandy pair of scissors, and we're gonna cut off the bottom, but I'm gonna cut it over my bottle here because, again, there is a little bit of baby oil in the bottom that I added to make sure that none of them stuck. Let's cut a little hole, nothing too thick so that it won't burst. Okay, now not all of them have been cut. Let's start. We're gonna start off with this green one. Pretty sure this is the soft serve slime. So we're gonna zoom in here and start piping. how cool that is. We made a little swirl. It kind of looks like a snake. Okay, we're gonna go again for round two. Now, I do not have very many art skills, so I can't actually draw anything out of the slime. But we can make some pretty cool designs. So I'm actually gonna cut a bigger hole in this one. And try now. This is so much fun. Go ahead and cut it off. Oh my gosh, look at that guys, that is so adorable. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the yellow one. I'm gonna set my little creation aside. Look at how cute that is. It looks like a little poo-poo emoji. So grab your piping bag again. This is our yellow glossy slime. This is honestly so satisfying. I'm again going to cut a bigger hole, set this creation aside, oh it's sliding away. And then we have our second little creation. Oh my god. Now on to the clear slime. This one is pretty thick. So we're going to see you know, if we cut a bigger hole. It'll make it work better. So this one's kind of coming out like a little log. So we're going to see if we can maybe curl it a little bit. So my table is a little bit wet from the excess baby oil in the piping bag, so I'm gonna wipe that down really quickly. Okie dokie. Let's continue. Okay, we're gonna give it a snip. And here is our third little creation. It's pretty cute, I'm not even gonna lie. We're gonna wipe down the excess oil. And now onto our fluffy slime. Actually, this is our butter slime, my bad. Cut off the tip, here's the little tip. The camera would focus. Okay, and let's get swirling. I 
Again, these last two slimes are very, very thick because they are naturally very thick slimes. So I'm gonna cut the tip just a little bit bigger. Here we go. Okay guys, so I think this one is actually pretty cute. Kind of looks like a little ice cream. Here's our next creation. Super, super, super glossy. And now, lastly, we have our fluffy slime. This one I'm so excited for. So we're gonna cut off the tip again. And we're gonna go ahead and continue. Oh my gosh, this slime is so, so fluffy. Look how big this swirl is, guys. That is so cute. All right guys, so we have made all of our little swirlies of all five of our slimes. So let's put them all side by side. Now I cannot leave them without mixing them, so that is what we're about to do. Okay, we got our butter slime, our glossy slime, our fluffy slime, our soft serve slime, and lastly our clear slime. And let's get mixing. And we're gonna give it a nice little swirly swirl. And here we go. Here is our finished product. I actually had so, so, so much fun making this. I recommend you guys try this out. It is such a fun idea and you can have so much fun and make all the different kind of slimes that you love. And since it is Corona season, make sure that you guys are staying safe and taking precaution. So make sure you guys let me know down below how your quarantine is or was or has been going. And thank you all for your love and support. I love you guys all so, so much. Stay safe and peace.